Air travel is the most popular and convenient method of travel in the world, especially for long distances. Fear of flying is real, but another reality is that air travel is much safer than traveling by car. Let us look at the main reasons for aviation accidents. Pilot error is the most common cause of aviation accidents. While airline manufacturers can use technology to engineer as many risks as possible out of flying, it ultimately comes down to the pilot flying the aircraft to execute a safe takeoff and landing, respond to mechanical problems, and navigate the aircraft through inclement weather. In addition to those responsibilities, a pilot must also maintain proper fuels levels, utilize the plane's de-icing system, follow instruction from air traffic control, maintain proper speed and altitude during the flight, and perform a host of other tasks. Even a slight error or delay in handling any one of these tasks correctly could result in a disaster. Mechanical error. Mechanical errors are the second leading cause of aviation accidents, accounting for 22% of all crashes. Mechanical errors could occur because of a flaw inherent in the aircraft's design or because a mechanical part was not properly installed or maintained. Outside forces such as birds flying into plane engines have also been known to cause mechanical failure. Inclement weather. Inclement weather is the cause of 12% of aviation accidents. While pilots and airlines monitor weather conditions and avoid rough patches of weather or refrain from flying in extreme weather conditions, weather can often be unpredictable. Lightning strikes are a particularly dangerous hazard for airplanes, as they can cause electrical failures or ignite fuel tanks and pipes. Other weather conditions that can cause aviation accidents are strong winds, heavy storms, and thick fog that limit a pilot's line of sight during takeoff or landing. Air traffic controller error. Air traffic controllers have one of the most stressful jobs in the world. They are responsible for controlling the flow of all air traffic, and ensuring that aircraft maintain proper distance from each other and take off and land safely. They are often dealing with dozens of aircraft at once, all while making countless split-second decisions regarding variables such as equipment, configuration, weather, and traffic levels. Any misstep or failure to follow proper air traffic control procedures can lead to a fatal plane crash. Your chances of dying in an auto accident are 1 in 103 according to the National Safety Council. The FAA reported that your chances of dying in a fatal airplane crash are 1 in 11 million. If you think about it, you rarely hear of a plane crash involving fatalities. You are absolutely safer in a plane than a car as supported by statistics. If you take one flight a day, you would on average need to fly every day for 55,000 years before being involved in a fatal crash. These are the words of Arnold Barnett, who has calculated the chances of a plane crashing, and is an expert in the field of aviation safety and risk and professor of statistics at MIT. The International Air Transport Association reported that there was just one major aviation crash for every 7.7 .7 million flights in 2021. The overall fatality risk is 0.23 meaning that on average, a person would need to take a flight every day for 10,078 years to be involved in an accident with at least one fatality. Whereas the odds of dying in a car crash are approximately 1 in 107 in 2019. These are commercial air carriers. Commercial airlines are heavily regulated by federal law. Most importantly, commercial airlines have strict standards for maintenance of aircraft, inspection, and pilot training. Given these strict standards, you seldom hear of major airlines crashing. Therefore, the majority of flights making up these flight safety statistics involve heavily regulated aircraft and flights. Boeing conducted a study of commercial plane accidents between 2008 and 2017. It found that 14% of fatal accidents occurred during takeoff and the initial climb. That is when planes run into the danger of veering off the runway or colliding with things like a flock of birds. The deadliest part of any flight, however, is the final approach and landing, when 49% of fatal accidents happen, owing to hard landings or missing the runway. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for more videos.